Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today I want to preview these uh, light and grill veggie burgers. This is a bubble burger and so my one of my daughters is a vegetarian she came to visit and so this got left over and I've never tried one of these I always sort of make fun of them and everything so I thought well you know I mean me my daughter's one of my daughters is vegetarian I'm what try it just to see how it's going to be so we'll cook it up and see how it is so stand by okay now the instruction says cook to 165 internal degrees and uh says spray your grill or skillet with a little olive oil so i'm gonna put i'm gonna spray the uh burger burger with a little olive oil and we'll see if i can zoom in a little bit on those ingredients for you here so maybe you can read them. I don't know if you if you freeze it, you might be able to read all these ingredients. If I would hold a box still, it would help. I know. So anyway, that's about as close as I can get to it. Okay, now I'll take this thing out of the wrapper here, and you can see now it looks pretty good actually doesn't look too bad at all so I'm going to put it right in the middle of this little trivet here that came with the Ninja Foodie I'm going to take my pump up sprayer here and it's got olive oil in it spray a little bit right here like that I'm just going to flip it over do the same thing to the other side and now I'm going to put it down in this Ninja Foodie over here Right down there, just like that. Now, next thing we'll do is shut the lid on it. Okay, now we're going to turn on the power. That automatically goes to 390 and uh, for 20 minutes, and it goes to air crisp. Okay, we're going to leave everything alone except for the time. We go hit the little timer button down here. It says time and it starts to flash and so we're going to turn it down we'll turn it all the way down to 10 minutes and I'm thinking that might be too long because I'm going to check it in about five minutes so then we hit start button okay and let it go now while you got a chance if you can join our channel and give us a thumbs up we sure would appreciate it and thank you very much for watching our videos so I know you can hear me you can hear me doing this well y'all don't have to do that because I'm going to stop it stop the action on it and I'll keep on cooking and I'll be back about the time it's done okay now it's just under 20 seconds to go on this thing and I checked it was about three and a half minutes to go and it wasn't even anywhere close to 165 yet so it might have to take a little bit longer to to do this thing so we're going to check it in about two or three more seconds here and that says it's done and it's getting ready to shut down there it goes now we look and see just what the temperature of this thing is let's see well I don't want to figure out how to do this so y'all can see this without burning myself Okay, that's about 110 degrees. So I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to shut the lid first. Okay, now I'm going to turn the power back on. Let's go go back to its 390 at 20 minutes. So I'm going to hit the time down here again. And then we'll reduce it all the way down to five minutes. I know it's not going to take any longer than that. And I don't think it'll take that long, but I might let it go for five minutes just for the heck of it. And then hit the start button so now we got another five minutes to wait here and by the way if I forgot to mention it a while ago you check out our links down below you might see something you like from Amazon down there in one of our links or something like that so anyway we'll be back in a minute or two okay now it's been going for an additional two and a half minutes so that makes it twelve and a half minutes total cook time and it's about five degrees uh, 
low. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put this rack in here and don't forget this pot is still hot. So when you put this little rack in here, now this is a stackable rack. It comes with the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. I love a stackable rack here. And you put that in there and I'm going to put my buns right there just like that. And then I'm going to shut the door and let it continue on for the next couple of minutes or until that uh, roll gets nice and toasty. Okay now, we just come to the end of that uh, second cook. So that made a total of 15 minutes time for the, for the uh, uh, veggie burger. And look at those golden brown rolls there. <laughs> Don't that look good? I'll tell you, no matter what kind of burger you got, that is a perfect roll right there. Or bun, whatever you want to call it. So I just lift these out, put them on my expensive dish here. Set them over here. Now don't forget, this little rack is hot, hot, hot. So you stick your hand down in there, and you're not going to like it very well. So, let's see, just pick it up like that, they'll come right apart, just like that, and set this aside over here so it doesn't burn anything. Then take this one out, over here and set it down on you. I've got a little uh, flexible cutting board there so I don't burn my countertop. Now, for all you people that's true vegetarians, look away because you're not going to like me putting this mayonnaise on this, on this roll. But hey, got to have something here. Take my roll and put a little mayo on it. Like that. Get another here. I'm trying not to show this mayonnaise no more than I have to because I know y'all ain't gonna like it. But hey. Okay, now we're gonna add some more veggies to it here. We're gonna put a little tomato on there. Tomato or tomato, whichever one you prefer. We're going to put a little pepper on there. We're going to put a lot of pepper on there. Then we're going to put some onion on here. I want to tell you all one thing right now. Whether you like veggie burgers or not, this is going to be a pretty burger when I finish with it. Right now, without burning myself, too bad. Take this patty, lay right on top of it like that. A little bit of lettuce there. A little bit of lettuce there. You got to put some salt on it. I carried away with the salt that time. I shouldn't have done that. That's too much salt. But anyway, now we'll put the top on this thing. Now look at that. Now I'll tell you what, if you take off the mayonnaise, maybe put some mustard or ketchup or something like that on it. Even the vegetarians love this. Now let me see if it's eatable. Okay, there you have it for this little short video just about. This, uh, Light and Grill Veggie Burger here from Burper Burger. Burper Burger does a pretty good burger. and this, I never had tried the uh, Veggie Burger before, like I said, but this is alright too. I mean, if you like veggies, I mean, you ought to give one of them a try sometime. <clears throat> now, to be honest with you, be honest with you, this won't never replace the cow <laughs> to me, <laughs> not to me, but a lot of other people will. 
And by the way, this is ballpark uh, hamburger buns I'm using here. So it's made with a touch of honey. So, but they're pretty good. So anyway, give one of these a try if you haven't ever tried it, and you might really like it. Because I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna throw it away. It's a pretty good burger. And so, until next time. Thanks again for watching our videos and come back and see me real soon. And I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I'm going to get rid of this veggie burger right now in a minute. So, until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day now. Goodbye.